And every single time you turn on your TV, your radio, look at social media, all you're hearing about is the housing market. Um, so it is an exciting time, but it depends on whether or not you think it's a, a wild, crazy good time or a totally frustrating time depends on whether you're a buyer or a seller. So we're going to look at the local market. Um, so let me find my presentation and share my screen. Okay. So as we said a few times, there are three things that are driving this market, the low mortgage rates, the buyer demand, and the lack of inventory. So now I wanna look at what has been actually happening. So we're gonna look first here briefly at Carroll County statistics, and then we'll go into the local. So this is a March over March. Um, so they're looking at Carroll March to March, and then year to date. So last year, March was the stay at home order. So we were in our houses, we were selling some things and there are things that had been under contract pre COVID and there were 80 sales. Um, this March, 83, so it's a slight uptick. But if you look at year to date, instead of the 3.8% increase, it's a 25% increase when you go from January 1st through the end of March. And you can see here, the um, median sales prices have jumped up. The sales volume has jumped up. Days on market has drastically reduced and the pending sales um, are up. So that is, let's see single families. Now, if we look at the same thing in condos, because there might be condo, the condo market is primarily in Bartlett, Jackson and Conway. Um, and we look at that, you can see in Carroll County, it was up from 17 to 21, March over March, but year to date, we're up to 50 closings. So that's an increase. The median sales price in the condos increased as well as the dollars. Days on market, you can see that significant reduction and pending sales are, are way up. So we're gonna look at things two ways in single family homes. We're gonna look at all of these towns in our area. So we've got Albany, Bartlett, Conway, Eaton, Freedom, Hales Location, Hots Location, Jackson, Madison, Ossipi, and Tamworth. Those are the towns that I used for this data. And this data came from our um, MLS, which is the New England Real Estate Network. So if we look at 2019, there were 124 sales. This time period. So it's like from the first of the year through April 25th. They had 124 in 2020. We had 128 sales, but this year 164. So we are talking about a lack of inventory. Part of that is perception because they come on the market and boom, they're gone. And there are still so many more people looking to buy. Um, so it feels, I think, even worse than, than the reality. I mean, it feels that way to the buyers because they're being unsuccessful in securing a home. But you look at the number, 164 sales. So you look at your days on market in this whole area, 59, 38, down to 12. So that's 2019, 2020, 2021. So you can see that percent of change. It's way down for the market time. The sale price, um, it actually went down in 2020, but again, we had the stay at home. And so there was like a, a shrinking of the market at that time. But then you get to this year and the price, the median price has gone up to 299. So that's like an increase of 25% over last year. And you look at the, the sales volume here, 38 million, 36 million this year, 59 million. So we have 
more closings, higher prices. And that has been like a higher, higher volume. So that is that general area. Now, when we looked at who was going to be on today, a lot of them seem to be interested in the Jackson Bartlett Conway area. So now this is just focusing on that area, those three towns. So we had in 2019, 66 sales. The next year, 60. Remember the stay at home. Then we come to this year, 80 sales of condos. So that's an uptick of 33 over last year, 33% more. The market time for the condos went down dramatically, 45 days, 30 days, eight days. And you can look at your sale price. Now look at the difference between 2019 and 21, 2021, from 282 to 306 up to 363.5. We have seen some really um, surprising numbers in, in the condos. And then we look at the sales volume and you can see it jump up in millions, 23 down to 20 during the stay at home and then up to 32 million this year. So what I thought I would do is have, it, if we can look at these. So this is 219. If you know about what you think your house might be worth, you can see where the bulk of the sales were. So that hasn't changed much. It's, it's in the, the bulk of them are under 400, 400 and under. Um, you see the most sales. And as you go up in price, the number of sales go down. So you have a narrower market, the more expensive price range you're in. And if you go over here, so this is now 2021, you can see how many you have. This is now under, you see it's more, it's bumped up. So You've got 16 in the 400, so that's a change. So now, instead of saying the bulk are under 400, the bulk are under 500 now. And you have a few more on the higher end. So, uh, Kathleen, can I ask yep. a quick question? Those numbers, 80 sales, 60 sales, those are year-to-date numbers, correct? They no, they, they're not exactly year to date. I did it on the 25th. So you could say, yes, today's the 27th. I, I compiled these as of the 25th. Okay. I just, I don't want to look at the fact that some of those price points had zero sales and think that they didn't sell a single house for the year, but that might've been first quarter of that year did not see a sale in that price point. I am comparing the exact same time period over three different years. Correct. So- okay. As it says, it is January 1st through April 25th of 2019, 2020, and 2021. So yes, it's a little, it's like the first first quarter plus. plus. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you had to be consistent to compare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking at condos. You can see there weren't as much of a change, but 53 to 50 to 62. So it's up 24% over last year for the number of units sold in this time period. But look at your market time, 42, 14, down to four days. And that's a median. So that is down like 71%. Your sale price, went from 195 to 235 to 263. So that's a significant increase as well as the sales volume. So yes, we are in a hot market. We need more housing inventory. And the question is, are we in a housing bubble? Well, According to the National Association of Realtors Chief Economic, Economic Advisor, Lawrence Young, he says, this is not a bubble. It is simply a lack of supply. Um, with this kind of demand, 
I can't see that it's going to go way down anytime soon, unless, as Diane said, something unforeseen happens. But of course, we have seen something unforeseen, which was a pandemic. There have been pandemics before, but as humans, we have sharp memories and all felt it could never happen in our lifetime. And here we are. So yeah, surprises happen. But I've when I first started, interest rates went up to 17 and 19 percent. So looking at the way the government supports the housing industry by keeping interest rates down, um, and it looks as if that's going to continue for a while, I think we will still have a robust, robust market, which will be difficult for buyers. I mean, we're seeing things with 10, 15. There was a house recently that had, in one week, it had 67 showings and 35 offers. Now, tell me those buyers weren't depressed going through that. <laughs> so.